Hi, my name is Anna, and for my deep listening interview, I chose um, to do it on my friend McKaylee. The interview took place in my living room in Winter Park. I chose um, a time that my roommates weren't here, so um, it was a very quiet environment and there were very minimal distractions. Before the interview began, I made um, McKaylee aware that this interview was probably going to go a lot deeper than our typical conversations. Um, and she didn't have to talk about anything that made her uncomfortable. And once we spoke about this, um, it established a really safe and comfortable environment. So both of us were comfortable before we began the interview. Um, Kaylee's one of my best friends and that's why I chose her. And what I thought was really interesting about her was that she got sent to boarding school by her parents when she was 15 years old, which in my opinion is pretty young and they decided to send her to boarding school because she wasn't doing too well in school and she was going out a lot and they thought that sending her to boarding school would provide her with like the structure and discipline that she needed at the time that um, she couldn't get interned at. So the purpose of this interview was just to find out what life for McKaylee was at the age of 15 um in boarding school like how the transition was what were her like biggest lessons learned what was really difficult for her what was easy what was fun what she liked and um i know in the beginning she expressed like not wanting to go and just it was really tough being away from home but um eventually she grew to love it and didn't want to leave by the time she was graduating um one of the main questions that stood out to me that I asked her was um, if she felt as though she missed out on anything while she was in boarding school, like at home in her family life. And um, it was a really sensitive topic for her because um, while she was in boarding school, she missed the birth of her nephew. And it was just a really sensitive topic because um, her nephew had passed away a few days later, so it was hard for her to talk about. It's always obviously a hard situation for her and her family and her not being home for it really um, impacted her a lot more. So um, after talking about this, I realized it obviously was a very sensitive topic and maybe it wasn't something that made her too comfortable to talk about. So I moved on with the other questions and just kept the conversation flowing. Um, in the beginning, I came up with like, plenty of questions which I would ask her but when the interview started the conversation kept flowing and just one thing moved into another so I kind of didn't even really stick to the structure of my questions but something that really stood out to me um, from what she said that can be applied to everyday um, life is that she just expressed feeling really grateful for her opportunity to go to, to boarding school and even though at the time she didn't want to go um, she's just really grateful for the experience of her parents pushing her and then her ending up going to boarding school. So I'm just going to share a little clip um, about what she said in the interview. I think it just helped me like understand that just because like something's not easy doesn't mean it, it's like the wrong choice. So that was just a short piece of the clip. Um, Michaela and I have been friends for a few years and we spent a lot of time together. So what I thought was really interesting was learning about her life before I met her and maybe how that experience in boarding school shaped her as a person.